Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com. In this video, we're going to be addressing scene transitions. Right now, we've got a pretty basic transition in place to move from clicking the droid in the world scene to the capture scene, but it's not really going to do us much good, and it's not great, to be honest. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to set up and use a scene manager class to handle that transition instead. So let's jump right in and do that. To get us started, let's scroll down in our Project Explorer to the Utilities folder. And I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to add a new C Sharp script. So go to Create, C Sharp Script, and I'm going to call this Scene Transition Manager. Cool. Now let's go set this up. Let's double click on the scene transition manager script to open it in our IDE. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that this is a singleton. So let's replace mono behavior with a singleton of type scene transition manager. Next, we're going to need a private variable. So let's type private async operation scene async. And this is going to handle an asynchronous operation going on as we transition from scene to scene. We're going to go ahead and take out start and update because we're not going to need those. Instead, we're going to have a gateway function that we'll use to start a transition. So let's type public void go to scene, and we're going to pass in a string, which is going to be the scene name that we're targeting, and then a list of type game object called objects, it would help if I spelled object right, called objects to move. Now the point of the objects to move is if we needed to transfer something from one scene to the next. For example, if I had a droid that I tapped on and I wanted to move that, or I had multiple droids that I wanted to move from one scene to another, or anything like that, this allows us to do that. If we just want to pass one game object, we can always just create a list and add one variable to it. But having this list here makes sense and makes it really extensible and reusable. And we're going to type inside of this function, start coroutine, load scene. We're going to pass in the scene name and objects to move. OK. And we actually want load scene, not load scene mode. Now it's coming up red, but that's because we haven't written this function yet. So let's do that next. We need to create this coroutine, so it's going to be a private i enumerator called load scene. And it's going to take a string, which will be the scene name, and a list of type game object called objects to move. I'll bet that looks familiar. Cool. Now we've got our function, and we're just going to say scene manager dot load scene async and we'll pass in the scene name that we're targeting then all we've got to do is say scene manager dot scene loaded plus equals new scene and mode and then a fat arrow and curly braces now, what we're doing here, if you don't know what a lambda is, that's what this is. It's an anonymous function. We could write it out so that instead we've got a private on scene load or something like that that takes the same parameters that it's looking for here, which are a scene and a scene mode. But instead of writing out a whole nother function, we're just going to do it anonymously because at this point we don't really need it. And it's nice to see a different way to do it. So we'll split up these curly braces. 
And then inside of here, we're just going to say scene manager dot set active scene new scene. And it automatically pumped that up, but I want to keep it broken up so that you can see it easily. And then below that, basically all we're saying here is this scene loaded is an event. It's obviously when the scene manager finishes loading a new scene, it's going to emit this event and we're catching it and running a function when that happens. And when that happens, we're moving to the new scene that was just loaded up. But until then, we're going to say scene, scene to load equals scene manager dot get scene by name. And we're going to pass in the scene name. Next, we want to add some objects to this scene while it's loading. So we're going to say for each game object obj obj in objects to move. So for each object in our list, we're going to say scene manager dot move game objects to scene obj scene to load. Perfect. And at the very end, we're just going to yield return null because we don't need to run this again or anything like that. We're just going to let it do its thing. Cool. With that, we've written our scene transition manager. And this really powerful script is going to help us to move from one scene to the other and take any objects that we so desire with us. So let's save that and go back to Unity. And our next step is going to be to put this script into use. So let's go ahead and head over to our Capture Scene Manager. Double click the Capture Scene Manager script to open it up in our IDE. And now we just want to go down to this droid collision function. And there's actually something we want to clean up here real quick. So all we need to do to invoke this script is come down here and say scene manager, or rather scene transition manager dot instance dot go to scene. And we're going to pass in pocket droids constants dot scene world. And we're going to pass in a new list of type game object. Because we don't really have anything to pass in, so we're just going to pass in an empty list. OK, cool. So now this should move us as long as we have our scene transition manager set to something. This should move us from the current scene back to the world scene. So let's head back to Unity. And let's drag this scene transition manager onto our main camera. That way, if it's not already set up from being in the world scene, which is going to be the case for our players, then it at least has something to attach to and go grab the instance for the singleton from. Let's press play real quick. And we want to see if this is working. So I'm going to take an attempt. And that didn't really work out for me. So what I'm going to do instead, in the interest of time, is I'm going to cheat. OK, so we've got an error that popped up. And that is just because, for whatever reason, our main camera didn't pick up that scene transition manager that I dropped onto it. So let's just drag it in here and add it there. OK. Now it should be working, making me get all nervous and stuff. OK, let's make this collide. Cool. And with that, we are back into our main scene. Now, you may notice that the lighting looks a little weird. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, it's a known issue with Unity when we're switch when we're swapping scenes. Sometimes the baked lighting doesn't pick up properly. And we can adjust that with dynamic settings and stuff, but it doesn't affect the end result. And I really don't feel like messing around with it at this point in time. So we're just not going to worry about it. But just know if you go turn off automatically baking the lighting, 
and pre-bake it for each of these scenes, then it'll run just fine in the editor. But as far as anyone can tell, it doesn't have this problem on an actual device. So we have now successfully implemented this into our game to move from this scene back to the world scene. Now we just need to do it the other way around. So let's expand our world folder under our scenes folder and double click the world scene manager. And that should open it up in your IDE. And we're gonna come down here into the public override void droid tapped function. And this line here where we're saying scene manager dot load scene, we're actually gonna take this out and we're gonna replace it with scene transition manager dot instance dot go to scene. And we're gonna pass in one of our constants, pocket droids constants dot scene capture and we need a list so let's go right above this and we're going to say list of type game object list equals new list of type game object and then we just want to go list dot add droid that's it and now we can pass in the droid that we selected into whatever scene we're going into. In this case, it's the capture scene. So now let's just pass our list in. See how handy that is? And I'm gonna break this up a little better so you can see it easier. There we go. There's our call in all of its glory. Let's take out this commented out line and let's save and go test this out. Head back to Unity, and we're gonna save our scene and go to the world scene. And we can do that by double clicking on the world scene in that folder, and then press play. And I'm just gonna click on one of these droids here. But we've got a problem, we never set our scene transition manager to an object in this scope. It only exists in the capture scene. So let's click on our loader and we're gonna drag the scene transition manager onto our loader so that it loads up with the scene. So press play again once that's set and let's click on our droid and see what happens. Destination scene is not valid. And the reason for that is I just realized we never added our scene to the build. So click on file, go to build settings. And we've got a weird deleted scene here. So I'm going to right click and say remove selected there. And in this scenes to build, we want our capture scene. So just click and drag that scene into this list. And then close that dialog. And we'll press play again, and hopefully third time will be the charm. Perfect. We are now inside of our new scene. And in theory, our droid got passed in with our list, which means we now have access to it here, which is something cool that we're gonna play with later. But for now, I think we're gonna call this video good. Let's make sure that it works the other way around too. Okay, let's force a collision. Override orb clone. There we go. And now that we know that this transition is working for us, we're going to call this video good. So let's save the world scene because we haven't done that yet. And I'm going to update my collab after we're done with this video. So don't forget to update yours. Great job following along. This is Ben with devslopes.com and we'll see you next time.